Good evening, uh, Mr. Mayor and members of council. I appreciate the opportunity um, to go over <clears throat> our Moscow Farmers Market, the 2018 season, and our new vendor's handbook. <clears throat> um, let's see here, jumping right in. I'd like to take a moment and review some progress in our strategic plan. Um, right off the bat, advisory and operational expectations are in clear and and lack boundaries. These are some of the major challenge areas we identified through our strategic planning process. <coughs> and with that, we've developed a full-time position um, <clears throat> along with, uh, to, uh, that, that includes some professional development opportunities that uh, ensure the market can continue with the aid of industry uh, standards and best practices for events of this caliber. Uh, market integrity is threatened by lack of clear policies. I'm here tonight to review our new vendor handbook that has um, gone through a subcommittee process at the commission level for review. Um, our inequitable and inefficient allocation of dis and distribution of market costs. Um, we approached this with a new tiered fee structure which council uh, has reviewed and approved this past <coughs> fall. Um, uh, this will this is this has uh, been rolled into our new handbook and we'll be implementing for the first time this season the last two items <clears throat> um, listed there the market faces immediate and severe infrastructure needs and the layouts unsafe restrictive and limits growth growth decision decisions sorry um, these two items <coughs> comes come to us as a larger part of a whole um, and there are current areas of focus that we have had um, some evaluation. These challenges have gone before a small group of students from Washington State University's College of Landscape and Architecture. Um, they came up with some ideas for us as a small semester project. <clears throat> um, moving forward, in order to really understand <coughs> Um, in order to know where we're going, we got to understand where we come from. So I just wanted to highlight some of our history over the last 10 years. Um, we've been able to introduce formal policies. We've moved to Main Street, doubling our vendor capacity. We've established the Market Commission and developed a strategic planning process. Um, this is a big thank you to Kathleen Burns, who isn't here tonight, for her dedication and leadership through these. and other significant accomplishments at the market. The exciting part, our new handbook. Um, I'd like to briefly go over uh, some minor and significant changes that we're, we're seeing with this handbook. Um, this po process of policy revision led us to the development of this new fully comprehensive handbook. Um, for me, the experience was uniquely rewarding because I got to work with our our Farmers Market Commission um, and develop a, a workable method for reviewing and, and revising in the future. Um, fortunately, many of the pieces existed, and we were left with the task of compiling and organizing. Uh, initial changes found in the new handbook are grammatic and mechanical edits to aid in the flow of the document. Uh, we <clears throat> vendor definitions have been rewritten to be more in line with industry standards. In that process, our um, vendor categories were developed. Um, the definitions were separated from specific requirements and best practices. We've moved a portion of our the the portion of our best practices to the leading part of our vending categories, um, while relocating specific requirements to a new appendix in the back of the handbook. Um, <clears throat> our vendor fee schedule has been added, the payment process updated, and our youth vending age limit has increased from 11 years to 16 years old. Some specific policy additions um, that we're seeing in writing for the first time in our handbook um, kind of a funny one, the prohibition of generate generators in our market um, has been an unspoken thing that we've um, now given legs to in the, in the handbook. 
Um, we have additional contact information added, specifically um, reference to imp <clears throat> impending FISMA changes. That's the Food Safety Modernization Act. Some of our producer vendors are going to see certain specific changes coming down the line this year and next. Um, and finally, we've added a sixth appendix to the end. This includes our jury process, our site visit process, as well as those specific requirements to each of the vending categories. <clears throat> okay. Um, some of the fun stuff, upcoming programming. We're excited to um, continue popular programs like Chefs at the Market and Commissions Tabling. Our entertainment calendar is looking very full for live performances in Friendship Square. Um, that's a big thank you to Zach Ellis uh, and, and all his work he does in organizing 52 shows within the market throughout our season. Um, additionally, we are excited to partner again with the University of Idaho's College of Lag <laughs> Agriculture and Life Sciences. Um, last year, their Summer of Science program saw hundreds of science kits handed, to, handed out to youth in our community. Um, <clears throat> we look forward to continuing our partnership with Backyard Harvest and Eat Smart Idaho as they develop their levels of community engagement in the market. And finally, um, we're looking to bring Pop Club to market. Pop Club, uh, it, it comes from Farmers Market Coalition, it stands for Power of Produce. Um, this is a fun collection of uh, programs that are uh, geared towards nutrition education for youth. So we're, we're excited to kind of roll that out. It's, um, it, it's put in, into practice by dozens of markets nationwide. Uh, moving on, volunteerism at the market. Um, now this has been mentioned several times tonight. Volunteering is a major part of the success at market. And, and it happens in, 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 in many facets. Um, we intend on driving that further. Um, while the vision and, and the core fundamentals of market are guided by the Farmers Market Coalition, or <clears throat> excuse me, the Farmers Market Commission, which is a key gr group of volunteers, operations are aided um, by the service of other community members as well. <clears throat> and you can see here, most of our operational volunteer roles have been supported through our student population. Um, both of these are sync days that had taken place last year. Um, we're currently developing additional opportunities to extend our reach throughout the community at a much wider spectrum, looking to include um, all sorts of people from the community to get them involved in market in several different levels. <clears throat> Um, accessibility, community accessibility, being a core value for the market, providing access to locally grown produce, foods, unique can made goods, and their producers is paramount to operations. In addition to <clears throat> providing access to SNAP and EBT benefits, excuse me, the market has great success providing access to actually Washington residents receiving WIC and SFMNP <coughs> benefits. So that's women, infants, and children, and senior farmers market nutrition program. Um, kind of a point of pride on the SFMNP. I was speaking recently with the, the regional mm -hmm. manager of the program. We are the only market outside of Washington state to facilitate these benefits. On top of that, um, we give their numbers a good run for the money. So we're doing really good here. <clears throat> <clears throat> 